Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So I never thought I would make a video like this. This is absolutely insane. I don't know why I purchased this but as you can tell by the title of this video we're going to be talking about the Hermes Ombre Eyeshadow Palette. So these were just recently released. Hermes as you guys know is a really high-end luxury brand. Um, this is probably the only thing that I will ever be able to afford from them and quite frankly I shouldn't have even bought this. I can't even afford this but I thought it would be kind of fun to do a video on this so here we are. So there were six eyeshadow palettes to choose from. Here are all of the ones that they had released. I did decide on this pink one. The teal one looked really interesting but I went with the pink because these are so pricey. I wanted something that I could use a little bit more and I think the pinks I could use more than the teals. So I did go with that one. This one is called the um, Ombre Petals, I believe. It does come in this cardboard casing here just to show you guys what it looks like. This palette is going to retail for $108. I know, I don't know what I've done, but I've done it. It comes in the Hermes orange box and here is what it looks like here. Just to show you guys, it does slide open and there is a canvas pouch inside which it does house the eyeshadow palette. So here is the canvas pouch just to show you guys. And then here is the eyeshadow palette itself. Now from the pictures I thought this was going to at least be a little bit bigger than what it is. But it is incredibly tiny. It is about the size of my palm. Um, I have a Coke can here just to show you guys the size comparison. So kind of tiny, really tiny, especially for $108. I thought at least I would get a little more product out of this, but here's what it looks like. There is the gold Hermes logo on it. The back does have the shade name, and then here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Let me try and clean it up a bit. There are four eyeshadows in this palette. Yes, you heard that right. There's four. So there's going to be um, one matte. I believe there's two satin type mattes in here and then there is the shimmer shade. I'm going to say it right off the bat. I'm not even going to do an outro for you guys. This palette is not worth it at all. The price, the amount of product. Um, just don't, you know what I mean? Don't get it. It's just not worth it. I thought this would be super fun. I wanted to splurge a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's just, it is what it is. I don't know. I thought it would be fun to do this video. So yeah, the eyeshadow palette is just not worth it. But I will give them props for the formula because I have heard that like high-end makeup brands, you know, like Chanel or um, Tom Ford or I don't know what other luxury brands right now off the top of my head are doing uh, makeup, but I've always heard that their eyeshadow formulas are absolutely terrible. And this, I honestly didn't mind it. The pinks were really uh, pigmented, as you can see. Everything blended together nicely, so I will give it that. Now, on Trend Mood's website, it did say that it came with, like, a wood-handled brush, which I will post a picture right there. Mine didn't come with that, so I don't know what that is about. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and play around with this palette. If you guys are just interested in this tutorial, you could do this eye look with you know other pinks that you have in your collection you don't have to buy this Hermes eyeshadow palette I really recommend not to do it but um, if you guys want to follow along to this tutorial then um, just keep on watching so this isn't going to be like a regular tutorial because again I am not recommending that you guys run out and buy this hundred dollar eyeshadow palette um, but if you have any other pink palettes in your collection, like Pink Religion from Jeffree Star Cosmetics or any of the Glam Light pink palettes that are out, like the Strawberry Shortcake or, um, I think it was like a margarita type one that was pink, uh, you can follow along with this tutorial. It's super simple. You're just taking a um, very vibrant medium toned pink and placing it on the center of the eye. Then you're going to take a darker pink and place that on the outer corner of the eye. Um, just make sure that you are doing a winged out shape and then do like a lighter pink shimmer for the inner portion of the eye. Just make sure everything's blended. It's just a simple gradient. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial. I got my gems off of Amazon. 
they are some pearls and some pink rhinestones i did the darker pink rhinestones on the outer corner and then the lighter pinks on the inner corner because i thought it would add a little cute uh, ombre moment to the look something a little bit different for me um, and then just i used the darker pink on the bottom lash line so that is pretty much the entire look again i do not recommend that you guys run out and get this palette seriously i um i honestly kind of regret it a little bit i don't know she's cute for the moment but now that a few days have gone by i'm like oh i don't know if i should return it i am not i'm not somebody that like returns makeup i only allow myself um two to three returns a year and it has to be a product that i absolutely cannot use so like if i order like a wrong foundation shade and it's way 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 too dark and i can't lighten it up anyway or um if it's too light and i can't darken it up anyway then i'll return that or if the eyeshadow is like so 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 bad and i know i'll never use that color story I'll return it um but that's really the only time I will return makeup other than that I do keep it in my collection and I try and use it the best that I can um but yeah I'm kind of on the fence about returning this um I thought it would be a cute little moment I will never be able to afford Hermes anything uh bags shoes anything like that but I thought owning an eyeshadow palette might be cute but yeah don't recommend getting this palette don't spend the money get something better like glam light they're cheaper or um you know even jeffree star's earlier palettes recommend getting those but yeah that is the finished look this is the video for today guys i hope you really enjoyed it um i thought this would be something fun let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next on my channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button until next time i'll see you in the next one bye